Yo what's up YouTube, Kempsey here and today I'm just bringing you in a tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can make those circles I just made over here on this wallpaper or from what you guys know this from my 2k spear competition thumbnail I used it there as well um, you guys were asking me for this tutorial so I'm making it and also if you have any other tutorial successions please leave them in the comment section or PM me I need successions to um, make any new tutorials because that's what I'm going to do in the future a lot so I'm concentrating on tutorials um, I'll come back to this after the tutorial why I'm concentrating on tutorials <laughs> so um, let's get this started um, I actually just made a normal wallpaper 1920 on 1080 pixels um, I made it coming from gray to black so this effect is looking pretty good over there you can also make it from light red to dark red whatever so now I'm just gonna choose the middle with the guidelines and then you're just coming to the elliptical marquee tool and you're making a circle like this I just put it into the middle and after that right click here select inverse and you see there's a selection as well now so if you um, make anything with the brush tool now it's gonna be out of the circle not in the inner circle so <clears throat> choose the color white and then choose a brush tool make it to about 170 pixels and then you're just starting from over here making it like this it's not perfect now I'm just I'm just making it again because it was horrible. Just get a circle done like this. Yeah, it's not perfect again. Just make it a bit better. Like this. So then press Ctrl D to deselect this and put the blend mode on overlay. And then just press control T to transform it and now you see over there well you see over there where the middle should be so there's the middle and here it would be the middle so put it down a bit it needs to be in the middle that it looks pretty good so now what you're going to do is just duplicate it make it bigger duplicate again make it bigger again and so on until you think it's enough it actually already looks pretty good this this will be the last one I don't need more to show this so um I'm just gonna go to the first layer and make it a bit smaller that's going to the middle that's just I'm kinda rushing this now if you're making this in your wallpaper or background or thumbnail or wherever you're gonna use this effect then keep your time um, so that should be enough now I'm just gonna open up a texture because this is already looking pretty good but I wanna have a better um, look from this like I want to have it like a light coming up so I'm just gonna open up a texture which is over there this one um, there are a lot of brushes like this as well so I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here put it into the middle and then hit control U and put the saturation down and then put it under all those circles and put the blind mode on overlay as well and I'm gonna put the opacity of the circles down to 70 and the opacity of this texture down to 70 as well so this is looking pretty good well it's looking pretty great pretty good and if you remove that guides you will see it's like kind of coming a light at the end of a tunnel or 
at the end of a way. Um, it's just looking pretty cool. You can use this effect wherever you want to use it at a background, at a wallpaper, at the thumbnail, at whatever you want to use. Um, it looks pretty cool if you put your logo in the middle in here like I did in my wallpaper. It's like coming behind from the logo which is, uh, which is just looking pretty cool. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you want more tutorials like this, PM me. Um, I'm not gonna make any normal tutorials like you see from other people's uh, people. So I'm just gonna make customized tutorials on how I make my stuff. Um, so I'm just giving you tips. You need your own creativity to start something with this. You also can make lines with this glowing effect. It looks pretty cool. And yeah, um, so at the beginning of this video I said I'm coming back to the point when I said um, I'm making more tutorials than speed arts in this uh, time. It's just because I just got emailed from TGN about copyright um, strikes and stuff. So actually TGN partners are getting unpartnered in these days. Um, I'm not getting unpartnered yet, but if I don't get permission for the videos I just used copyright or I just used music on without permission of the artist, I'm gonna get unpartnered. So I hope I can get these permissions in the next seven days, or if I don't get it, I need to take it down to keep my partnership. So this is why I actually can't post any spears because. I need permission from artists, from bands, um, to put music on my spirits, which actually means that I need to wait for answers from the artists or bands, which kind of it takes a while. Um, I hope I I get a few answers within the next week or two weeks, so that I can start making speed arts in one two weeks. I have two speed arts um, lying over somewhere on my PC which would be ready to upload but yeah um, I don't really think you want to have a speed art upload without music it's like a PC without I can't really say Windows because Windows is not making a PC better um, it's like a PC without processor um and yeah that's just why you need to wait for something from me um i hope you understand that and i'm i'm going to keep you updated to this um i'm also going to post a lot of more tutorials i'm going to post two or three in every uh tutorial every two or three days so that would be from me um, I hope you enjoyed this. If it helped you out, please like and comment. And also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, yet, please go and subscribe it. Um, and give me some suggestions for my next tutorial. PM me or put it in the comment section. So, I'm out. Peace.